So here is the third reason um, why men may take a while to propose or, or not propose at all. Uh, you want to get married for the wrong reasons and he knows it, right? You want to get married for the wrong reasons and he knows it. Now, I, look, I have to... I have to start by saying to the men watching this that this is not a this is not a small amount of pressure on the women when it comes to getting married. We men need to cut a lot of women some slack when it comes to this because it is it's a lot of pressure that a lot of women face. Now, now ladies, you know exactly what I'm saying, right? You know, he sees you get, you know, really insecure or or upset the week of the umpteenth wedding that you have to attend, the you know this month or be a bridesmaid in, and you know again, I, again this is no small pressure. I, 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 I kind of understand. I can't say I totally understand again because I'm I'm not a woman, but in a lot of cultures, especially culture that I come from in, in West Africa, there's a lot of pressure on these ladies, young ladies, to get married, and and I, I couldn't imagine how some of them are handling that right but the thing is if if your man is watching your stress level skyrocket and your frustration skyrocket you know every time you guys go to a wedding you know that stuff really freaks him out right or maybe you know like family pressure from your side of the family you know your mom you know always calling you or calling him you know asking when this thing is going to happen you know, after what feels, you know, to both of you, like three minutes of dating, right? You're like, bro, we, like mom, we just started dating like a couple months ago, right? If your man feels like you are just anxious about marriage because of the pressure you're feeling, he won't be comfortable and he's going to stall. That's just, that's just what he's going to stall. In fact, let, let me put it this way. You may have caused the relationship to start dying already. I'm, I'm being totally serious right now. Why? Because what you're saying by showing or succumbing to that pressure is that the pressure to be married is more important to you than his desire to be married to you and his desire or, or his need to feel comfortable in that. Again, even if, if it's not true, that's what you communicate and that will make him stall from proposing. So again, what you want to do, ladies, is that even if you're under that kind of pressure, you want to make sure that you're managing that pressure well because it will freak your man out because what the way that he's going to interpret what you're what what's going on is that is that the reason you want to get married is, is for the to totally the wrong reasons and that you haven't really considered marriage for what it really is. Even if this, this is not true, even if you've thought about it, you, you've read your Bible, you've done the studies, all, it's all a matter of what you're communicating. And since the nonverbal communication is much more, it, it speaks more volume than the verbal communication of, oh yeah, I'm not stressed. The nonverbal communication of, of you know, your, your friend is walking down the aisle and you're crying and your boyfriend knows those are not tears. Uh, that's like 20, he knows that it's 20% you're happy for your friend, but like 80% you're just upset that that's not you. When he notices that, he's going to stall and he's going to take his time to propose or he may not propose at all. Hope that helps. Number four, coming up.